up over the next few months. Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Surprise! It's Pete Mangione instead of TJ Del Santo. That's okay, TJ will be back with you early Monday morning. Let's get you right now to our weather headlines. We have another nice Sunday on the way. Temperatures once again mild. We'll be doing a lot of melting. We're going to play a game called Sunday versus Saturday. Basically, we compare tomorrow's weather to today's weather. Again, tomorrow very similar. Temperature-wise, there will be a few key differences. One of the differences will be more clouds, not the all day long blue skies that we had today. Unfortunately, we'll get some peaks of sunshine here and there, but not as much sun as today and then less wind tomorrow. Today quite breezy, had some gusts 25 30 miles an hour, not quite as breezy as we head into tomorrow afternoon, although some of those breezes will still be there. OK, so some Sunday night late snow is on the way. This does not look like a big deal right now. Timing could be a little bit of an issue. I'm thinking the early Monday morning commute could be slightly impacted, a little bit slowed down. We'll talk a little bit more about that timing in just a minute. Very cold weather next week. We're talking about another Arctic outbreak and then along with the cold we may throw some snow in with that cold more on that Wednesday storm in just a minute. We go outside right now. This is a time lapse from the URI campus. Temperature right now is 42 degrees and most spots are still above freezing. You can see in Providence well above freezing at 43 degrees. Winds are still busy out of the southwest at 15 miles an hour. We'll drop those gradually throughout the overnight into tomorrow morning. They never completely go away, but at least not the gusts that we had throughout your Saturday. 39 right now in Smithfield, 43 westerly, 42 New Bedford, 41 in Newport. A quiet looking satellite picture. We do have a few clouds moving in from the west and some precipitation, but I'm thinking most, if not all, of the precipitation holds off until very late tomorrow night. So Sunday should be primarily rain and snow free. We can walk you through it. In fact, I'm going to speed past Sunday because not a lot going on precipitation wise tomorrow. Perhaps a brief rain shower late tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening. Most of the time period is dry. Right around midnight, we'll start to mix in some rain and snow showers, and the potential of, of that continues into very early Monday morning. Now, notice this particular computer run keeps most of the uh, snow offshore. I'm still thinking there's a pretty good chance we have some light snow going around this point, and then we turn it off pretty quickly by the late morning. Totals not that impressive, about a dusting to an inch of snow. Of course, these are subject to change. This will not turn into a big or significant snowstorm, but we may have to up or even lower those totals over the next 24 hours. Because I love forecasting this stuff so much, I'll be in bright and early tomorrow morning with an updated forecast. We look at temperatures tomorrow, and you can see by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, almost everybody getting into the upper 40s, low 50s. I like this 47 and westerly winds will tilt a little bit from the south to cool down the coast. This, new this Newport cool down is overdone. We won't get quite this cool Newport tomorrow. We'll be in the mid to upper 40s as well. Seven day future cast shows again most the snow on Monday should turn off by around 7 o'clock in the morning. So if we do see some effects for the morning commute, it would be those early morning commuters. Those of you between about 430 and 7 o'clock in the morning. Of course, some can change on that Monday timing, but that's the way it looks for now. Looking at a potential snowstorm on Wednesday, the track will determine those final accumulations too early to talk about that. But you know, some decent accumulations are possible for Wednesday. Hopefully we can push that out to sea because Kelly, there is a scenario where most of that action stays out to sea. Mm -hmm. And I think most of us wouldn't mind not doing that shoveling. Absolutely, but you know what? Let's just focus on uh, tomorrow. Still some more warm temperatures. It's the old sports cliche. Let's take it one day at a time. Exactly. You know, worry about the championship later. <laughs> All right, Pete. Thanks so much. Yep. Well, coming up on Eyewitness News at 10. Talk